Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial on Blenderpedia.com. My name is Rob and today I will share some knowledge about street modeling and create these nice looking brick effects uh, and water and stuff like that. Um, this is the second time I'm spending some time on a tutorial how to create a street because I think it's a very very important thing. It's around 40% of the scene in this picture. So uh, yeah, and I'm spending a lot of time creating these buildings. So uh, spending no time on creating bricks should be a big uh, yeah, problem. <laughs> they should also be very realistic and we should, should spend some time on it. So this is the second time. The first time I spent some time on it was this one. It was a very short tutorial when I started Blunderpedia. Um, so there is not a lot of, uh, I didn't spend a lot of time on it. What I did here was I projected an image on a plane and used a displacement modifier to pop them out from the ground. And then you create, get this 3D looking effect. Of course, it doesn't look really good at all but uh, it was just to indicate how to do it of you when you put a specular map and a normal map on it what wasn't integrated in blender yet well the specular map was integrated but the normal map what is very very important it wasn't there so uh, that's why it looks a little bit cheap uh, but yeah now i'm going deep into the material and show how to do it uh, but before i'm going to do that i want to show you some reference images uh, we have four images, uh, the one in the middle on the bottom, uh, it's a very uh, easy way to create this effect with a normal map, with occlusion and specular map. The problem is uh, when you come close you will see it's a flat plane and when you use this place modifier with this kind of uh, pattern it doesn't look very good. So uh, using the displacement to create a 3D effect is really hard. So there are only a couple of textures what works very good. But if you use an image what you see here on the right or the one up there, it doesn't look really good at all. So we are looking for a technique that looks always good and I have that one. Uh, so uh, we're going to create this one on the left and uh, I promise you it will look good. So uh, it was not the first time I uh, had this problem how to create that nice looking street. Uh, I started in 2008 with creating buildings and environments. So <laughs> I just picked an image and projected it on the plane and I thought that should be good. But of course it looks very, yeah, not really realistic. On the right, it's two years later, I uh, tried another technique to uh, model every single brick and put them together, some different types, and it works better, but it's still not photorealistic. Um, and that's because I didn't spend enough time on it to create a cool looking one. I call this the straight line modeling because everything is straight in this image, and curve modeling means it looks more smooth, and I don't use straight lines, so that's why I call this like that. So what we want to do is create this effect what always looks good even when you come like one inch from the from the object it still looks good and uh, it's so powerful when you're creating an animation and you have a movement. So uh, look when you create only one image you come away with normal mapping and speckle map. When, when you create animations and you have movements in your scene you yeah, you have to look for a good uh, alternative and I'm going to share that with you and I hope you like that. So let's go to the material. Uh, let's go to Blender. So here is the scene. Uh, and I think, yeah, there it is. So I have to tell you before we start that we have to spend a lot of time creating this nice looking road. Uh, I think creating one type, there are two types and I'm spending around two hours to create it. And maybe you think that's a lot of time, but let me tell you this. These buildings here in the background, um, I'm spending around one day on it to create them. Um, so for these three buildings here, I'm working around three days. So this 
uh, street in the scene takes around 30 or 40 percent of the space so why should I spend 15 minutes on it to create a cool looking road or street and spend three days on buildings that's not even <laughs> that's not a very nice balance right so spending two hours on a nice road and then you have a very very solid uh, street that's uh, yeah that's not a lot of time I think so uh, this is the scene uh, how it looks like and you can see I modeled every single brick but don't be afraid it's very easy to do uh, and when you have one because it's around uh, when oops when we go to this one it's run it's only these two so uh, it's two hours for this one and two for this it's around four hours or maybe one hour it doesn't matter but I think it's also good to show you all the types of variation uh, how it looks like when you don't use a uh, normal map spectral maps when you use only uh, displacements and stuff like that so we have to camera set as active camera so when I go to texture mode and I'm using the GPU this is a lot faster and we hit render and we have to wait and I go to this this is without anything no specular maps no normal maps and it looks flat uh, not really uh, realistic and we when we move this camera to that one it's a different type of uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. it also looks very flat so in my animations I want to go very close to this and yeah then you think yeah the the road doesn't look very good yeah that's right so then we have the normal map uh, variation so this one is not with a displacement only normal map specular map and an occlusion and it looks like this looks way better but again when you come close like this you think yeah it's still not believable from this angle maybe it looks good it looks better than that one but it's not good at all so then we have another one and for this one I use the displacement to uh, create this bumpy effect uh, I use that I created that in the crazy bump if you want to know how to do that you go watch my tutorial version one of street modeling explaining everything uh, about that subject so when I hit render it looks a little bit better so when I come close to the bricks you have something like this but uh, yeah to be honest <laughs> it doesn't look really really believable uh, again when you use a texture what works good for it it looks better when you lose a lot of uh, what is it uh, 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 render fuse or whatever so when I turn this off it looks like this and uh, yeah there is more 3d effect so anyway let's go to the one I created as this one and when I hit render it looks my opinion way better so with a single just with a texture you can create this and even when I come very close it's really good if I turn this one from this angle it still looks good so uh, we're gonna create this and I'm sure it's gonna be good so uh, uh, let's go to the scene and show you how to do it let's make this solid so enough talking let's go to work <laughs> so I'm starting with a plane and I'm scaling it a little bit so next thing what I'm gonna do is go to the material new and I'm using an image opening it and do 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 lose that one so uh, U project from view UV and we want what's the name of it it's called root root I don't know why we, I have to fill this in something like this should be good so I'm scaling this a little bit something like this looks good and so we have this 
so texture and everything is good so we have to model every single brick and maybe you think no way yes we have to do that but don't be afraid it's gonna be okay so I'm only gonna do a couple of breaks I'm not going to do every break I'm gonna fast forward this tutorial so I'm going to make this subdivision surface very important to do is uh, oh I want to scale this a little bit so not really important I'm clicking on apply mm, nope oops what went wrong nothing so what I want to do is subdivide it like this this is good and then I'm touching this one and I'm removing the vertices and I'm grabbing these something like this no yes this is good texture move it a little bit and bring this there or select everything I want this orange dot right there and make it a little bit smaller I think this is good so here we are and you can smooth it and go to the texture mode duplicate this one uh, texture Ooh. I think we can do one other thing and it is using a background image it makes everything a lot easier so we have to scale this like this and now we can use it for this one okay so because we're not working on the texture mode but we want to see these bricks so I was a little bit fighting with it so and I can recommend not subdivide it more because you're creating a lot of bricks and that will eat your computer that's uh, really a pain so there we go I think we have to make it more flatter something like this and you can touch the one in the middle yeah pretty good and I'm grabbing this one and maybe it's a good idea turn on some music or something that you won't get bored of this method but it's uh, it's a really really powerful and you gotta like it so there we go and to avoid bringing this thing up every time you think well this is a pretty good one you duplicate it and you work with that one so there we go so this is what you're gonna do next following two hours modeling every brick what you're gonna be really happy when you finish this so uh, there we go and make some variation not every brick should be the same size so when I watch this I think well maybe I want to lower this one a little bit something like this very important to make that so we also have these little ones and you should make them because they are also very important even when they are very small you have to spend some time on these but I can uh, tell you when you finish this you are a really happy man that you created this very cool effect so there we go yeah well, maybe a little bit crazy this doesn't matter so try to model everything so uh, I'm stopping right here there's not really more to tell about it it's uh, very boring but when you are finished and you are here you get something like this 
and when you hit render you get this effect it's pretty damn cool um, it's also very important to uh, to show you when I select everything when you are done with the modeling you select all the vertices you project from view and you go to UV image editor and you're scaling it and I think this one is a little bit rotated so and you have to put them in the right so you can see here is some space left so you have to fix that a little bit and some more so I think looks pretty okay to upper this a little bit yep all right so when you are done it looks like this and then we have this texture and you also have to uh, project it and scale it so it's covering these areas between it this is very important don't forget to do it so and then we are done and when you hit render you have that lovely cool street pattern effect and even when you come close it looks good very good so we ga can do some weeks in the material editor the note editor so there we are so what I normally do is uh, this is my diffuse material I'm adding a normal map this is my normal image when I go to my so uh, let me, there it is so I'm selecting that one putting it in the color and yeah you can don't make this one make it around 0.3.6 that should be good uh, a displacement for the displacement always using only the texture so I'm going to this one I'm selecting the normal texture and I'm putting it there but use a lot not a lot of bump in it it's not good and what do we have more we have the uh, specular map and you can make a mix shader putting this one in the bottom and to control it make a specular map make a multiplier uh, and use a value between 0.9 and 1 and you can go out if I make this one you will see that it doesn't look really <laughs> reflective and it's very important with bricks so you can have this effect and width that turns 2.9 or maybe I should just open this window come on yeah there we go 0 0.9 and 1 there is some little little bit of an effect so I think this is pretty much it yeah I use two different types of bricks but uh, yeah I'm not going into that so this is pretty much it I hope you like this tutorial you can download this um, uh, scene of course it's on my website you can download my texture file from this one if you want also that one I'm linking to the texture files on CG textures but I can't give them to you because it's not for free um, if you have any questions you can always ask me so uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you next time